This is Tim Weir with a video clip from SemiHomemadeTools.com. It's been a long couple of days, but we are operational. If I really had to, I could uh, put a, a board in here, put it down a sacrifice board, put something on it, clamp it down, and plug in the router, and we would be able to do some cutting. We're really not done by any means. We still need to route all of our wires and get those tied down. Got a, got a lot of that kind of thing to do, but I did want to just do a real quick video, just a minute or so, just to let you see that we do have it running. And so the x-axis right now, uh, <laughs> turns out some of our parts came in, uh, The one of the um, lead screws came in, it was bent. So we do have uh, another one on order. So I used a, a single start lead screw for the x-axis and uh, it still runs pretty darn good. I think we're running about 125 inches per minute. fast enough for most jobs that we would be working on um, but we're going to get it up to a um, we're going to get it up quite a bit from that uh, here very shortly as soon as the new lead screw comes in it's a five start lead screw so in theory we'd be able to do about 500 uh, inches per minute I can demonstrate what 300 inches per minute would look like. That is on the y-axis, we do have that going uh, at 300. That's 300. I have had it up, the y-axis up to 500 and it did operate. Um, but that's with no resistance whatsoever. As soon as you start putting a load on it, uh, it, that would drag it down and it would not be able to handle that. But we did kind of tune it up for 500 and then we backed it down to 300 because uh, the main reason that the main time you're ever going to use that kind of speed is literally in, in free travel. Not when we're cutting, but we just want to be able to get from one end to the other. And you can see at those speeds, our motors are whining pretty good, uh, pretty pretty high pitched sound. So uh, with my my ears the way they are, I really don't want it to go much higher than that. We do have the Z axis going. The Z axis is on a uh, uh, two start, and we had a new two start lead screw on order. That one just did not get here yet. So I, I used a piece of two start that I had. Unfortunately, it does have a little bit of a, a bend in it. So uh, I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. And if you watch the lead screw on the Y or the Z axis, you're going to see that it wobbles quite a bit. that's running a hundred inches per minute so I'm just real thrilled with the way everything has gone there are some things that we need to touch up and things we need to look at um, we spent quite a bit of time this afternoon on the tuning and we're going to have a, a, a complete video on how to tune things up uh, get everything in alignment but uh, we spent some time on that today just so that we could use it if we absolutely had to I do have a new two-start lead screw on order for that. I've got the replacement five-start lead screw on order for that. And uh, a couple other things. We, a few nuts and bolts here and there that uh, uh, we ran short of and uh, the local hardware store did not have. So we had to substitute other things. But overall, um, like I said, we're operational. So it's, uh, it's been a good weekend.
This video is presented by Semi Homemade Tools, where we help you create and build tools to fall in love with. If you enjoyed it or found it useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have not already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so now. We welcome you to visit us and find lots of other free information at semihomemadetools.com.